right. Hello, Sam's fans, and welcome to another uh, Facebook live broadcast. Last week, unfortunately, we didn't have one, but usually every Wednesday at 3 p.m., we are here to talk to music therapists, art therapists, Sam's fans, and just a bunch of people to talk about some really cool things. And today, um, Mandy McGlone, I think I believe you've been in a market because this is the first time, one that we actually just interview you and talk a little bit about your involvement with Sam Spence, and I'm really excited to talk about that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for agreeing to um, come live today. Of course, I'm excited. Yeah, and I think also for some of our Sam fans, I'm, many of them know you, so I think it'll be exciting to hear more about what you do and. Also, that goes to say, if anybody has a question, feel free to write it in the comments and and we'll talk about many things today. So, just to kind of get started, um, so obviously you're involved with Sam's fans in a lot of ways, but what, what do you do just in general? In general, um, I am a contractor. I do nonprofit consulting work. Mm -hmm. And I work primarily with an organization called Mighty Crow Media. And um, at Mighty Crow, we do lots of different things. Um, the biggest portion of my work is project management work. So we work with different nonprofits um, throughout the state and some even outside of Ohio and manage kind of their management level projects, kind of upper management level projects. So we'll manage some grants or some big projects that are in the works for those organizations. Um, but our organization also does grant writing and evaluation mm -hmm. and uh, lots and lots of other things. Yeah, so you're quite active and knowledgeable about the nonprofit world then. I've been working in the nonprofit world since um, the late 90s, so mm. to date myself. So yes, I think so. Yeah, that's great. And I'm sure it was a lot of help also as Sam's fans were starting and through all the paperwork and all the things that needed to be done. Yeah, I, um, I'd like to think so. You know, when um, Nikki first, well, I'll tell you when Sam was sick, I, um, you know, Nikki, well, I'll talk about this a little bit later, I guess, but Nikki is my best friend. And mm -hmm. when Sam was sick, I never really always knew if what I was doing to support Nikki was helpful. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't really understand what she was going through. I could just be there to support her. And then, mm -hmm. you know, after years went by and she's decided, you know, I think I want to do this nonprofit thing. I thought, I know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, this is, it's been a real labor of love and uh, a pleasure yeah. actually, so. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And besides that, you also, you have three kids, right? I do. My kids are 11, uh, almost 13 and 14. So I have a fifth yeah. grader, a seventh grader and an eighth grader. That's awesome. Yeah. They're great. So now that we started talking a little bit about, you know, Sam's fans and how you helped from the very beginning, mm -hmm. I was also curious, well, and maybe some people might wonder, what your positions within Sam's fans are and kind of what you are involved in. Yeah. So um, I'm technically the associate director at Sam's fan. So as her associate director, she really bounces lots of ideas off me on a daily basis. Um, we talk every day about work and also not about work. Um, mm -hmm. But it's nice to really be able to kind of help help her along with those day-to-day -day, um, decisions and really just kind of be her support um, and a, uh, a person that she can really used to collaborate with and to kind of generate ideas from and that kind of stuff. So. Right. And then my, that's my role. Right. And then you're also a member of the board, right? Oh yeah. Awesome. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right. I'm a member of the board. 
um, which has really been fun. It's um, mm -hmm. it's really fun to kind of see the organization from both sides. So mm -hmm. um, because we're so small right now, um, I'm able to fulfill both roles. So that might not always be the case, but um, mm -hmm. it's kind of fun to do it uh, for the time being. Yeah, that's great. Um, all right, so I think we can sort of step back and go back before even Samson started, right? So mm -hmm. you've already mentioned that Nick is your best friend, but um, mm -hmm. I'm also curious, I don't know if we've ever talked about this since when do you know each other and kind of, kind of how has how things developed over the years? Yeah. So Nikki and I went to high school together. So mm -hmm. I we've known each other since we were 13 years old, which is a, a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've, we've kind of grown up together really um, into our adult lives. And um, Sam was the first baby really that I was ever around or involved in, or, mm -hmm. um, you know, of, certainly of my friends having kids. Um, mm -hmm. So that's how I know Nikki. Right. And did, did you go to the same college together? No, we didn't. Okay. We went, um, Nikki stayed more local and, Actually, I didn't go too far away. I went to Denison, which is only about an hour from Columbus. Right. Oh yeah, I've been to the a couple of their jazz guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Festivals. Yeah. Yes, that's where I went to school. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah. you were able to keep contact, and obviously oh, yeah. now you've come a long way. So that's yep. pretty. That's pretty yep. great. And we, um, we when I graduated from college, I moved back to Columbus, and so we were. Mm -hmm. um, hanging out at my pool at our apartment, my apartment complex. And mm -hmm. um, she was in my wedding and, you know, so we, we've been together quite a long time. Yeah, that's great. And, and like you said, I think it's been also great support as Sam's fans started and throughout these many years of struggles yes. and then all the times. Yeah. So before Sam's fans even started, um, we, um, there was a friend, Holly, who lives out, live still lives out in the Portland, Oregon area. And um, she would do her, she unfortunately lost her son as well from to Fanconi anemia, it's complications from Fanconi anemia. So she did a 5k race out in Portland for years. Mm -hmm. And we traveled out there. Um, we have a, a friend of ours from high school who lives out in Portland. So we would travel out to Portland, Oregon annually mm -hmm. to run this 5k race. And we would bring some friends of ours. Um, right or friends of ours here from Columbus who also went to high school with us would come with us. And so we kind of started doing that. And I remember Nikki saying a couple times, I, I think we could have a race in Columbus. Mm -hmm. She was an avid runner that at that time, she still is, is, is a runner. She just doesn't run marathons like she used to. Mm -hmm. Thankfully. <laughs> but um, so we started out there and then once Nikki really, decided she wanted to do some fundraising. It started with um, fundraising for FARF, which is the Fanconi Anemia Research Fund. And mm -hmm. um, so we did a little bit of fundraising here and there. We actually had our very first fundraising event was a cornhole tournament we held in her backyard. Mm -hmm. um, we had teams register and um, mm -hmm. it was really just our friends. And we ended up making something crazy like I don't know, $3,000 or $6,000, something yeah. ridiculous that we were not expecting. And right. so um, then Nikki kind of decided, I know Nikki and Dan talked and Nikki, they thought, you know, if we're going to raise some money, why don't we raise some money for something that Sam feels really passionate about? Mm -hmm. Sam felt really passionate about. And so that's kind of how they came up with the idea to start to raise money for um, music and art therapy. Yeah, that's awesome. Now she she is actually joining. So she, there she is. Hi. Um, and also, Patty. Oh, hi, Mimi. <laughs> Talking about the cornhole the events. Cornhole was, event. was she there? Oh yeah. There? Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Mimi's always there. Definitely. And um, I had a thought when you were talking about that. But yeah, that's that's great that. That started, and then the 5K, um, yeah. the first one happened six years ago, right? Yeah, which is crazy. 
And um, I remember her saying, I want to have a website and I want to do this race and I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of took it one at a time. And um, I think it was shortly after the first race, um, she kind of, she, she started thinking more about really turning this into a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, at our first race, we we hadn't we didn't have our five hundred one c or we didn't have our articles of incorporation and all that kind of stuff yet. So mm -hmm. um, that came after the first race. Gotcha. Yeah, and what I thought about before was that it's also really cool that you decided to do something or to support something that Sam really enjoyed and benefited from, and then mm -hmm. Sam's fans now it's it's really kind of a, not, a unique nonprofit. Mm -hmm. I still haven't found any anything like that in Ohio. There are some across the United States, but I think that's really awesome that you were able to not only do something that is passionate um, for yourselves, but that you, that you love, but that is unique and that brings something that is needed as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, like anyone who's heard Nikki talk has heard her talk about how um, when Sam was happy, when Sam was in the hospital, when she was getting these services, when she was happy, then Nikki was happy. And for me, you know, being her best friend and watching her go through something so horrible, it feels the same for me, I think, in a way when, when she's happy and when I know that she feels like she's doing something that's really impactful and really meaningful, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm all on board. And, you know, I think, in the grand scheme of things, as much work as we do together, I don't know that there's another person out there that really kind of embraces it um, and her like I do. So, I mean, of course there's people that love her and people that embrace the program, but as far as putting in the nitty gritty work, mm -hmm. um, it's really been a joy to do that with her. And we always say right. that we're um, two, two superheroes with no sidekick. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Love that. Uh, and then also just real quick, you know, she's saying that we need to bring the cone holes and <laughs> back. Somebody does, then, not us. And, oh, well, she good. has a big backyard, so why that's not? Right. We could do it in yeah. West Jeff. Yeah. Awesome. Fun. Yeah, for sure. And um, cool. And then, so I guess the question would be, so you had the 5K. And then Sam's fans started officially, uh, would you say 2015? Yep, 2015. Yep, that's when we got our Articles of Incorporation and our 501c3 status. And um, up until then, I think we were fundraising um, primarily and just giving the money to FARF, to the Fanconian right. Research Fund. So after that, we were able to disperse the funds differently. Yeah. Okay. So you were start. You started officially in 2015 with your papers, and my next question would be: Well, before that, um, maybe Nikki, maybe we can talk a little bit about other things so she doesn't cry as much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because what I was gonna ask is like, what kind of progress have you seen since 2015 up to oh my gosh. 2019? Wow. I mean the growth has been really humbling and really unbelievable. Um, you know, we have such a great group of friends that really helped us kind of kick this off and really believed in it and loved the McCarthy's so much that they were willing to kind of hop on board. And I think from that has grown this huge base of people that we don't know. I mean, I think we sent out our save our moving cards and there were over a thousand people on our, um, on our mailing list mm -hmm. now. And, and so I feel like not only is, has our fundraising increased exponentially over the years, our fan base, so to speak, um, the, the awareness of Sam's fans has increased. Um, the, you know, people stop us when they see us wearing sweatshirts and ask how we are familiar with the org. Mm -hmm. brand is really kind of penetrating the state and people are really um, understanding and um, are really curious about what we're doing. Definitely. Yeah, I think 
that is totally true and i think that there's been a lot of growth so i love that um and, and then i would also be curious you know now that you're in a lot of new and exciting information that you know i didn't know about the cornhole events and how yeah. things got started and all that um then i would also be curious if there is anything that you you would hope for people to know about Sam Spins and about what we're doing that perhaps is not so, that people might not know so much about. Hmm, that people might not know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, Samuel, you do such a good job of getting our work out there on social media and letting people know what we're doing and what we're engaging in. Um, mm -hmm. Something that they don't know I don't know, maybe they, they might not know that we actually fund very different programs in every hospital. Mm -hmm. um, we've really, we really work to work with the hospital to fund programs that are important to that hospital and meet the needs of that specific, specific organization. So mm -hmm. in, um, so the program that we fund, Dayton looks very different than the program we fund in Cincinnati. And so that's kind of, that's kind of cool. It's not, um, yeah. You know, it's not something that we just say, hey, we just fund this particular service, you know, in a box. It's really, we fund music and art therapy programs, but we fund it in a way that makes sense for your organization. Right. So, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think so too. Yeah. And, um, okay, so where, where do you see Sam's fans going in the next five years or 10 years? Well, it's funny you should ask. We uh, we actually just finished our strategic plan um, mm -hmm. for the next um, three years, mm -hmm. and our goal is to really is to double our um, income in the next three years. So to double the amount that we're fundraising, um, which is going to be a big challenge, but we're certainly up for it, and we know that we can do it. Um, and so in that goal, we'd like to increase, you know, slowly increase the amount of money that we're giving to each hospital. And I think, you know, in 10 years or in eight years or I don't know, five years, um, our, our big overarching goal is that we want to have music and art therapy programs in every Ohio hospital that Mm -hmm. really are impactful. We, we don't want to just fund something. We want to fund art and music therapy programs. We want to fund programs that really make sense for each organization. And we want to um, share that, share those stories with um, all of our, well, all of our followers and all of our donors and um, really just continue to spread the message of the great work that Sam's fans is doing. For sure. And, and I also now think of the, some of the therapists that have come live yeah. And that I've talked to, how they mentioned that they they um, they have more music therapy, more art therapy now in their hospitals, but there is always more need. Like some of them, they say yeah. like ten would not be enough, right? Yeah. So would you say that um, it is first about really funding in Ohio as much as we can before going, for example, to other states in the United States, or what? Do, how do you see that happening? Yeah. For sure. I think we are going to do what we do. We're going to do it here in Ohio until we do it really, 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 really well. And um, mm -hmm. and maybe someday we would think about going um, elsewhere. But for the time being, for the foreseeable future, we're really focusing on Ohio hospitals. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we have we partner with five hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, do you know how many we're missing? We're only missing two in Ohio. So two. yeah, okay. so we're we partnered with Dayton, Cincinnati, Columbus, Akron, and the Cleveland Clinic. And there are two mm -hmm. other um, children's hospitals in Ohio. One is Rainbow Babies, which is University Hospitals. It's also a Cleveland program, so that would be a second program in Cleveland. And then um, mm -hmm. Toledo Children's Hospital. So those are the those are the seven right. children's hospitals in Ohio. Okay. All right, so let's get there. Yeah. Awesome. Um, cool, and I think just if anybody still has any questions or comments, any stories with Mandy, but not you, Nikki, because I'm sure you have a million. Um, 
Yeah, just feel free to drop it in the comments and tell us about that. But I guess just the last thing would be, we just, we had the ice cream event recently uh, this year. We have the 5K coming up, the biggest event, uh, a thread of hope in the fall. So I was just curious if you have a favorite event. Ah, that's a good question. Um, and I don't think it's a cop out to say they're all my favorites. I feel mm -hmm. like, um, you know, the ice cream event is just so personal and really allows um, Nick to celebrate Sam's birthday in a really, really special way. And um, mm -hmm. even though we raise money for um, for specific programs or we have a goal in mind, it's really nice to see the happy birthday signs around and to see mm -hmm ice cream in everyone's hand, which we all know Sam loved. So um, so that's that's my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. The race is my favorite because we have, you know, that was our first event and it was kind of our signature event for a long time. And, um, you know, it really is an opportunity for family fun. You know, people bring their dogs, their kids, their, you know, mm -hmm. strollers, their, um, Grandparents, I mean, it's really a nice event for the whole family for anybody to enjoy. So it's um, so that's why that one's my favorite. And you know, Thread of Hope is just in a league of its own. It's such a, it's such not only is it a huge fundraiser, but it's just such an amazingly beautiful event. It's coordinated so well. Um, mm -hmm. It it's beautiful. It represents art and music therapies in the best way. And, um, and it's just, and it's my favorite. Yeah. So awesome. All right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> oh, so and, Nikki, yeah. Nikki yeah. Just asked us, right. What's my favorite memory of Sam? I mean, there are so many, we were just talking about this one the other day, which was, um, I was babysitting her, Nick and Dan and Nick were out doing something. And um, I walked up the driveway, I think Sam was four. And she said, um, I love those shoes, four years old, mm -hmm. talking about my shoes. And I said, oh, well, thank you. And she said, where did you get those? Which struck me as so hilarious because Sam was four years old and she sounded exactly like her mother. Mm -hmm. um, which was also awesome. Um, that was also the same day she told me she thought Sean was dreamy, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. Um, but she was just such a great kid. She was so um, just so sweet and kind and thoughtful and funny and um, just, you know, so full of energy and, um, I just have so many memories of her. She was just such a great kid. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's um, it's a shame that I never got to meet her. But yeah, it, it sounds like she was really sweet. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it's it's great to be part of of her legacy and part of uh, Sam's fans. And I love being involved and doing the things that I do. So, well, we love it too. You're an amazing asset to the organization and we appreciate all the work that you do to keep it moving. For sure, yeah. Oh, uh, we have a new comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But um, yeah, so I think just, if anybody, we have a few viewers, so if you have any questions, this is your last chance. But um, just to say that, it was it was kind of a nice change for me, you know, doing these interviews, usually talking about music therapy or therapy, which is cool. Mm -hmm. But now it's also getting to see more of the personal uh, experiences uh, surrounding Sam's fans. I think that was that was really nice. And um, I would also say to anybody watching, every Wednesday we'll have these usually at this time. If you prefer any other time, please let us know and we can move it around. Um, and like we said, we have the 5K coming up. So we, we're starting to push that out and we've been working hard on organizing everything. So definitely be um, tuned for that. And hopefully we'll be able to see you there. Mm -hmm. And uh, will you have anything else you want to say? Um, 
no, I'm just I'm just really happy to be a part of this and to be a big advocate for um, art and music therapy in Ohio. So definitely. Dream yep. Awesome. Well, thank you. And thanks, Sam's fans, for tuning in. And till next time.